All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install your walkie dog leash. This is a system that allows you to ride bike with your dog safely. And then when you're done, you simply detach this and you can use this as a leash. A couple things in the video. When I show you how to install it, I actually installed it on the frame, which is wrong because before I tighten the bolts down, I realized that my legs hit this bar. So before you tighten the bolts down, make sure you can ride the bike safely. I suggest anchoring it below the seat. It's about 50 bucks on Amazon. There'll be a link to purchase it in the description below. I also will show you how to extend this leash if you have a taller dog. It's a great product, highly suggested. Enjoy the video. First thing you do is detach the adjustable jaw clamp. Like so. The first thing you want to do is determine what side of the bike you want the leash on. This is the right side of my bike over here, so I want to put the leash there. So just make sure it works. It's just testing it here to see what it's going to look like. Next, take one of the four nuts that came with it and screw it on your bolt and screw it all the way towards the top. And then do this for both screws. Once you've determined what side you want, you can put on the optional rubber piece. I put this on, it's just gonna protect your bike from the metal of the jaw clamp. Then you simply put the one side of the jaw clamp on and put the other side on like so. And then what you're gonna do is screw your screws with a nut on each side. Okay, once you hand screw in this side, you can see you've got a nut and then the end of the screw on both. And then on the other side as well, you can see you've got the nut with the screw and the same right here. So you just wanna hand tighten this, don't lock it down yet. Now your next step is to connect the tubular bar. Now you'll notice the bar, it's got some give. So it does have some stretch, so if your dog does pull, it's, it's you know there's a little coil there, which is nice. Then just pull back the lock and you'll know it's in place because you'll hear it click. Locked in. And then when you wanna take the lock off, just simply do the opposite, pull back on the lock and take off. It's that easy. One other thing you want to do before you tighten it down is make sure that your legs don't hit it when you pedal. Now my legs hit this because I put it on the wrong spot. I put it underneath the frame here, but I'm going to move it here underneath the bike seat and then uh, my legs won't hit it. So make sure you check that before you tighten your screws down. Once you've test rode it and make sure it doesn't hit you, you then want to angle the tube 20 degrees towards the back and then lock it down. And by locking it down, you just take the tool that came with it and you just put that in here and lock it down. So I've just tightened down the walkie dog to the bike frame underneath the bike seat. Now in doing so, it doesn't hit my legs anymore, but the walkie dog itself is higher off the ground. So when I go to connect Stella on the standard length of leash that it came with, it's already stretching it. So what I need to do is unscrew this cap, take out a couple, one or two springs, and then attach to make this leash longer. The first thing you need to do to lengthen the leash is to unscrew this cap and expose the three springs. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is push this rope up over this clasp and then hold on to that. And then all you're gonna do is pull this brass colored piece off, hold on to that. And then I'm gonna take two springs out. I talked to a buddy that's got a dog similar size and that seemed to work for him. And then you're just simply gonna grab that brass piece, put that back on and then connect the attachment that attaches to your dog's collar and you're good to go. And now you can see I've lengthened this leash quite a bit. So now as you can see, I'm just by taking out those two springs, Stella's got some slack and she's uh, way more comfortable. I do want to get a harness that attaches to her back because I'd rather have it attached here. But for now, while I'm getting her used to it, I have it attached here. And if I need more slack, I can always take out that third spring. But this still does have some pull to it. So I think this would be a good height for her. All right, that's how you install the walkie dog lease system. When the full review's up, it'll be posted here. You can click on that to check it out. So far, I've been using it. It works great. I would suggest make sure to get a harness where you connect it to the back of your dog. It seems to work easier. Stella likes it that way. And also, before you tighten the screws down, make sure that your legs do not hit the bar. And in doing so, I would you know, suggest mounting it underneath the seat. It's 50 bucks on Amazon. There'll be a link in the description below to purchase it there. I highly suggest checking it out. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. And until next time, Stella and I say, caca.